you put your yes. CPAP, your CPAP machine on your dick and balls? Never. Well, if I'm being honest, <laughs> just that I, once. I never put them on my balls. Okay, you don't. But sometimes when I get out of the shower, yeah, make sure it's super dry down there. Yeah, I'll take the mask part off and use the hose, and I'll. Oh, you dry know, flush of air down there, like a hand dryer. That's a good idea. Yeah, make nice. sure it's all nice and dry down there. <laughs> that's, that's a good use. I don't yeah. know if a lot of people know that's a good use for a CPAP machine. Hey, what do you mean? it's multifunctional. Hey. You ever dry the backside? No, I, not yet. <laughs> Tomorrow. No, maybe you tonight. do have a bidet, don't you? Yeah, bidet. How, how you? you you advocate for bidets? Are you a big? Let bidet? me tell you something about bidets. Like from now on, my life will be divided into two sections: before I ever used a bidet, <laughs> and the age of enlightenment. <laughs> the God's gift. Anybody who does not have a bidet, I strongly encourage. It. Yeah, I don't trust anybody who doesn't have a bidet. I'm working on a travel size bidet. I'm sorry. Lost. You don't have a bidet uh, in your I, I apartment. Your trust, Joe. You don't have a bidet in there. No. What are you doing with your life? And uh, there's no additional charge for using the uh, bidet? No, no per use fee or debit system? No, ma'am. Use of the bidet is complimentary. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Good, Very good, nice. Good, 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 good. good Come on, man. You're Nothing. failing. Obviously, I live in a swamp. You're That's using even more reason. What are you using? Toilet paper? Yeah. What? I use one roll of toilet paper a year now. The toilet washes you completely clean. You're mad. No, it's true. It has warm water in a dryer and cleans you eight times better than toilet paper can. Would you like to take one for a test drive? Oh, uh, sure. We did have kind of a big breakfast. Right over here. Good. Would you like to see the master bedroom? And uh, the bidet, is it in good working order? The, uh, the bidet? I believe so, yes. And there's a... Uh, a sturdiness to it. <laughs> the bidet. It can accommodate a fairly heavy carriage. I'm still working through the toilet paper that TV bought during the pandemic. Yeah, the, well, just because she bought like 20 boxes. Oh, so she was a hoarder. She, did she punch old ladies to get to her toilet paper? No. She How many people did she ladies. kill? Yes. What's uh? What's her? There's murder? no statute of limitations. Now that I don't know. I don't have these questions. If you weren't on the record, wink, wink. How many people wink, did she wink. Uh, rub out? I, I don't ask these questions. One of the one of the uh, tenets of our relationship, one of the, the pillars, is plausible deniability. Uh, any of the rules of toilet paper have like blood on it? No. No. Everything's wiped down before it comes into my apartment. <laughs> I have a room set aside for that. Would you trust Timia with the knife test? Yeah. What's the knife test? You give her, you present her like with a bloody knife. You're like, please hold, like, do hide this. Hide this. Yeah. Oh no, not that knife test. No. 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 You don't think she would hide? She wouldn't cover up a murder. I would either? ask someone to hide a bloody knife. Well, it's just a test. It's, you didn't really kill somebody. It's a test. It's a test. Doesn't like matter. The day to open the door she, test. she would know I was fucking with her because she would know that I wouldn't do that. I don't know about that, man. Nah, you I don't, don't know about know. that. Fair enough. Nobody knows about. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> well, well, now the only way to really find out is now you have to really kill someone. Yeah, right. And now I'll give her the knife. So you got if you really want to put her through the test, which you're the one insisting on this, Steve, not us. Uh, I, I you're gonna have to kill someone. Happened, but no. As long as it's consensual. It's consensual, consensual murder. murder. With a knife. Yeah, you're consensually murdering China Phillips. Jesus is my rock, and that is how I roll. Well, you're going to have to. this, but it, it's a very specific framework. It, there has to be, we have to have all the paperwork filled out, notarized. She is a notary in the public. She can't there you go. That. She's a notary. Oh, I don't know. I guess I just need something notarized. You're just you're stabbing China Phillips. He bankrupt heaven for us, you guys. You're stabbing China Phillips because she asked you to. Right. She asked me to stab her. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure why that. Okay. Does she have a certain number of times that she'd prefer stabbing her? Six. <laughs> Six, Six time. times in the chest. Six times she wants to be presentable in the yeah, no, casket. And there's no sex involved. But then you have to bring Timia the knife that you killed China right. Phillips with. 
And you have to explain to her, this is China Phillips' blood on this guy. Please, please, hide the paper. please, but please hide it, but don't get rid of the blood because she's famous. So I want that. Big exactly. I'm going to sell that. Notarize the paperwork involved in this consensual, consensual murder. I'm not sure that there's paperwork involved. I think there's, I she doesn't want a paper paperwork. I don't think China Phillips wants a paper trail. Yeah, I don't think she can. Well, she I'm not she doing doesn't want to. She wants to get her insurance. I'm not doing money. this. I'm not doing this. I'm a good team player. She came to you to help. It's all care. just a test. It's just your testing team is loyalty. I, I don't it's want to loyalty. I have no question or need to test your loyalty or love. So you're sure Man. that she'll hide the murder weapon for you? I would never ask her to do that. So well, I, of course you would. She would know something was up. <laughs> but that what contingency is the- plan would be enacted and we go over contingency plans at least once every quarter <laughs> okay if you had to get out of town in the split second like the cops were on your trail you had to get out of town do you have a get out of town plan yeah okay. and I, don't team- have a bug out bag packed anymore but that's just because I'm repacking everything but is she aware is of the she, plan is she part of the plan no <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you reach out to her after a couple of weeks and say, "Hey, oh, is- I mean, I'd reach out to her. I'd reach out to her pretty quickly." Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess the real so she question is part of the plan, just not you uh, getting out of the city as quick as possible. Plan. Well, I mean, it, it, it's the quickness is the key, right? As in, he- I'm pitch- she got a great ass, and you got your head all the way up it. If Robert I'm setting the pacing, no. Like, the movie seconds. Heat? Yeah, Rob De Niro. If you spot the heat around the corner. Remember Jimmy McElwain on a yard used to say, you want to be making moves on the street, have no attachments, allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you spot the heat around the corner. Remember that? You got to be able to drop everything in 90 seconds. Your whole life? Right. Just leave yeah. your life in five yeah. minutes? That's Thank how my mom raised me. I gotta make water. Should we end this now? For you to make water? Every pool has a hole that fills with clean water. You need to find it, stand in front of it, relax, and pee. And then we can decide. We should be it. As we get older, it's not good to play that game. If you make a habit out of holding your pee for long periods of time, you can actually stretch your bladder to easily hold even more. Because your bladder might not be the only thing to stretch. You may also stretch your external sphincter muscles. Are you going to sit down to pee? No. Well, I have. I like to sit down to pee. It's more comfortable. Yeah. Your pelvic floor is more relaxed when you're sitting down. And when you're standing, you often recruit some of that pelvic floor musculature just for postural reasons. So when you need to urinate, that pelvic floor actually needs to relax in order to allow urine to pass through the urethra. I don't have no problem with that. Yeah. No, I never know. Maybe a couple turds. Maybe a couple turds want to come out. You don't know. I like to relax and fart. Give him an hey, relax and fart. That's it. I have a good I have a good view from my window. A little R and F. Yeah. Is that what you're gonna do? I R and F all over my mom the other night. Wait a minute. Oh. Your mom's in town? Oh. I'd like to R and F all over her. Hey, that's my mom. <laughs> you do it to your own mom. No, I R and F on your mom, bro. How dare you? This is taking a turn. Well, I mean, I don't think it's a term that's unfamiliar. I think you guys are in a in a cul-de-sac right now that you're well aware of. <laughs> How dare you? No, is I'm not judging, dude. How are those headphones fitting? Yeah, they're okay. How do they feel? How do they look on them, Steve? They look good. You look Steve, good, Drew. You look sexy in those headphones. You do. I never want to bang I, somebody I, I in wanna, headphones. I, like I said, I want to curl up on your chest like a fucking kitten. I want to crawl up your ass cheeks. Like after the bidet and the bidet after the bidet. Yeah. Carlos Summer here.